Well, hello there, guys. I bet you didn't expect this to be in your sub box. After about 10 months or so, we're back into Boom Beach. I've been playing a little bit here and there, but unfortunately, I haven't had too much time just to do any gaming. So I've decided to actually boot things back up and see how we go. And of course, Boom Beach is just as fun as ever. There's going to be an update, hopefully very soon, or at least the Mega Crab will be coming around the corner very shortly, hopefully before Halloween. So in the meantime, though, what we do have is we've still got the level 20 landing craft like before. We've got the same amount of warriors, although the warriors at this time are a little bit higher at, let's have a look, at level 19 this time. We have reached headquarters 21. I am trying to max out my headquarters as soon as I possibly can. And today we are taking on Dr. T on the tropical island if i still remember correctly and we've got the masterpiece reward boosted as well because i do want to upgrade one of my rocket launches up to level 14. so in the meantime though let's go ahead and get started of course the first couple of stages are going to be very easy and there's not really any strategy involved over here i mean what we can do is have a little bit of fun and just barrage them to smithereens and there we go we've even got pretty much a whole barrage full left even of just rockets coming down but being away doing a couple of other oh hello last time was an anomaly you have no chance against me now or ever all right so halloween is just around the corner it is the 24th after all so i'm really hoping that the mega crab does come in the next few days hopefully actually by the end of the week i'd assume it would anyway i think uh halloween's on the 30th or 31st so it's coming right around the corner. Unfortunately, in Australia, we don't re well, I don't really mind at all, to be honest, but we don't celebrate it too much in Australia, although it is growing year on year. All right, so over here, we've got quite a few resources over here on the left. So what we'll do is we'll send out three boatloads, which is still a little bit overkill for this stage, but we'll send them out. These This rocket launcher, for my high-level warriors, isn't going to do too much damage, but... We'll let them do their thing. And, okay, what I'm going to have to do is actually just shock. What I w would recommend doing is actually going ahead and uh, flaring your guys up to the top and then coming around to this rocket launcher. Uh, but clearly, my guys can withstand the pain. We've almost got all of them back. I was destroying a bit of play bases here and there. Kind of unfortunate that I um, did take such a big break off YouTube, but to be honest, it was uh, very much depressing me. Uh, the whole YouTube thing, just because of, uh, like you said, you compare yourself to other channels and you see how fast they're growing compared to how you're growing and you think, oh, but I'm, I think I'm doing obviously a better job, but maybe I'm not and all of that stuff and you get depressed because they're doing so much better than you and you're not doing anywhere near as well. You haven't been uh, spotted, I guess, by the greater community, but it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, I've got a uh, fresh lease on, I guess, life, but a fresh outlook on things in regards to YouTube, at least. So, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, continue on with this uh, positive reinforcement that we've got going on. Now, over here, I'm not quite sure why this mine was glowing. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and send in... Oh, I might as well send in four this time. And we'll go ahead and flare them up onto this flamethrower. Go ahead and smoke twice. Now, I do have quite a bit of... Um, health, uh, sorry, of gunboat energy at that. So everything will be down below in the description as always. Oh, I did lose someone. I'm actually surprised I even ran into that. Anyways, clearly I'm a little bit rusty. And over here, all I'd really recommend is actually just shocking over here. And we can get four of these defenses. The only thing that can really hurt us is this sniper tower, really. You might lose one warrior or so, one or two. Still a very easy couple of stages. We actually lost two there. I'm not quite sure how, but I guess through that mine. I mean, I was assuming just one. Anyways, here we go. It's starting to get a little bit tougher now. Of course, Dr. T has improved a lot over the uh, last updates in the game. Uh, due to the fact that uh, high defenses and they've been trying to... Supercell have been trying to do things a little bit differently. Uh, now, over here, what I will do is go ahead and smoke a little like that. Just so anyone that is within the range of the flamethrower won't get affected by it. 
Now, over here, how are we going to do this? Oh, oh. I waited a little bit too long. Thankfully, we didn't lose anyone. So, we went up to this cannon. I wanted to stay away from this boom mine. So, thankfully, we succeeded in that. One of the things that you should always do is also check out if there are any... Um, like supply buildings right next to each other that you can actually get a gunba energy surplus from so in this stage there's none like that okay we're gonna lose a couple from this boom cannon which is unfortunate could have uh, used my 41 gunba energy that I have left over but it's all good I want to conserve as much as I can because a lot of you guys obviously don't have anywhere near as much Jeez, I and mean, we lost five there Losing a little bit more than I'm used to, but of course, Dr. T, as I did say, is a little bit more difficult than what I'm used to. Now, all right, stage five. Of course, the tropical stage is the easier of the two. Volcano stage is much more difficult. I guess it depends as well on what strategies you use, but just in general. All right, so over here, what I think I'm going to do is actually just barrage all of these mines. I think that's probably the best, because otherwise we can go around the right-hand side over here and um they'll take a little bit too much flaring to be honest so what i'm going to do is just use a barrage up and i'm going to hope that we get that supply here on the bottom right although i don't think we will okay but we did get all the mines so that's all right now over here what i'm going to do is actually i will send all of my guys straight onto that supply point okay and all we really need are three smokes that's going to be more than enough. There's going to be a little bit of space. We might lose one guy, but no, we don't. Don't think we do anyway on our way there. And now let's get ready with one, two. That's pretty much all you need. Two shocks. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of the heels down and maybe even a artillery. And that should be it, hopefully. So very minimal losses on stage five. One of the easy ones. Especially if you've got so much uh, gun by energy that you can just heal up like there's no tomorrow. Now my heal isn't actually... Oh, jeez, we lost six there. Okay. Now let's have a look. Of course, we're going to be a little bit rusty, but I'm not used to losing that many. So my heal is at level 21. It is able to get up to level 22, but we're not there yet. You know what? We might even save up for that this or today. Uh, as well as upgrading our rocket launcher. So let's get right into it. Let's have a look. We've got... All right, so on to stage six. The headquarters has 367,000 health. So definitely a fair bit. There's also quite a few mines up around here. So we are going to have to barrage them, I think. We'll have to have a closer look. But there's a lot of machine guns over on the left-hand side. But they are nowhere near the headquarters. So that's not really too much of a worry because the way machine guns work... Uh, they cause more damage the closer you are to them. So we won't be running around there Also two shock launchers, but they're right next to each other and we've got a couple of supplies next to each other too Which is great. All right, so let's go ahead and attack and with our minimal troops. We don't really have all that many Or as many as I would like so Let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is hmm Gee decisions decisions, eh? I think the way I'm going to do this is actually go ahead and barrage, actually. And that should get rid of pretty much all of the mines up around here, and indeed it does, because there's one hidden behind this sniper tower. So that's done a good job for us. And now we'll go get an artillery in between these two supply points. There we go. And we're ready to attack. Now, the way I'm going to attack is... Go. We're going to go up over here. And I'm going to send all my guys up over into this rocket launch. Oh, sorry, this sniper tower. And we're going to use quite a few smokes to get up to the headquarters. We've got 57 gunboat energy to play around with now. So that's more than quite a bit. More than enough. What we'll do is get the shock launchers. Rocket launchers up here. And we'll get some of those machine guns as well. Just for good measure. All right, now we will lose quite a few guys, mainly from this flamethrower, which is causing us quite a bit of grief. And we did lose quite a few of our troops by the time that the shocks run out. So for a stage six, it's definitely gotten much more difficult, I've got to admit, but 
Then again, my worries aren't maxed out at that either. Alrighty, so welcome back to stage seven. This time, what I have done is I did fail the first time. I did boost my troop damage masterpiece though. So that's at 62%. Everything will be down below in the description as to what level my statues are. But let's get right back into it. So stage seven has 400,000 health on the headquarters. We've got quite a few high level rocket launchers at level 14. These definitely pack quite a punch. Now, the one problem with that we've got is this damn shock launcher. As you can see, the shock launcher has, let's have a look. Uh, well, it's level 10, but it has the range to actually reach all of the warriors that are on one side of the headquarters. So that's definitely going to suck. And you know what I actually I am going to do? I will go ahead and also boost up my Gunboat Energy Masterpiece. Now, one of the joys of not playing this game for a while is that I've got a lot of power powder. We've got 204 at the moment. So thankfully, that will help us quite a bit as we try to get back into the game. Now, let's go ahead and attack. What we'll do is go around the right-hand side. If you've got tanks, this is probably the best... Uh, best bet to actually attack this headquarters you've only really got the rocket launchers to worry about so tanks will be able to mow down the flamethrowers and machine guns very very easily all right so in the meantime though let's go do this ourselves what i will do is go ahead and destroy these mines and these mines here beautiful next up let's go ahead and all that guys down here, go ahead and oh, 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 oh. we are losing a lot of guys, which I do not like the look of. All right, how many are we losing? We are losing a lot. No good. All right, so our heal ran out, which definitely went by very quickly we are going to have to shock quite a few times i'd say let's go ahead. one two three four heal up as well and this is going to be very very close i think we'll get there by the time the shocks run out there we go they've already run out but we've uh, still got more than enough troops thankfully definitely down to the wire but very messy as well we managed to get there in the end, thankfully. So we've recovered a little bit of the um, power powder that we wasted, or that we've spent so far. Let's have a look. 52 casualties. That is definitely quite a bit, and we get one stone. So with my superior intellect and tenacity, I'll beat you 11 times of 10. According my, to my training calculations, I've beat you squarely. I accept your surrender. So we've definitely shown that evil genius how it's done. Let's go ahead and reinforce. And that will be it for the 24th of October. Hopefully you guys are excited that I'm back. But if not, well, we'll continue grinding on. And uh, I'm having quite a bit of fun actually playing Boom Beach. So we'll definitely continue on with this channel as well. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.